Okay, so uh, Japan did three infantry, three tanks, three artilleries. Um, they backed away from India, coming back up through Russia. Similarly, they went ahead and decided to bomb Russia, so they're changing their focus off of India, giving up on India, and heading towards Russia. At this point, it's a futile attempt, as I'm sure you guys are aware. Uh, he did lose a bomber in attacking and did hit for three IPC. I mean, bombing Russia is kind of pointless because I've got 14 places I can build from. I'm not even going to bother repairing that. So, and we've got enough units running around. I mean, maybe he thinks he can all of a sudden blitz me. I don't know. Because he did build the three tanks back here and he's got three tanks here. So, he's going to come hard. So, we're just going to start moseying our way back towards this way, bringing my seven infantry back down uh, into, into play, and, you know, we'll, we'll get back to uh, protecting against these guys. So, and uh, I'll let them go. I, I was going to crush them and make them have to come up this way. It, you know, who knows? By my time I take my rush a turn, maybe I'll change my mind. <laughs> we'll see. Um... Uh, so anyways, uh, for the U.S., we're going to go ahead and finish the stack of France, which is going to require these three transports and me. Uh, I, I could just take these transports into France as well, but instead I've decided I want to hit Italy because I want to hit Italy. I just do. So we're going to hit Italy, and hopefully we take out at least the AA and at least five of their infantry, or even four of their infantry is still okay, but I really want to take out the whole stack. It's actually in my favor slightly to take out the whole stack, which is obviously the goal. So, purchase. Um, with three of these transports coming in, these two are going to take four of these guys. Of course, those guys are gone, at least six here. One of these transports is going to be coming back. So that leaves us four extra infantry from here that's going to be sitting with nothing to do. We will have these uh, three boats here needing six. So we needed to build two units for these guys coming back next turn. We needed two units for here. That makes four. And then we've got these two going out and about. Oh, wait, did I, I miss up my count? I think I messed up my count. Now that I'm counting this out. This is why we redo this, right? So we need two here. We need two for these guys. And ideally, we're going to have four more for these guys, making eight units. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so we got eight units. Woo! All right. So four more for these guys to come back to C-Zone 10 next turn. And that left me some money left over for a bomber. And instead of building all infantry, I had leftover money, so I went ahead and built a couple tanks too, because then I can put tanks here and they can rush around for, uh, you know, maybe US 6, 7, 8, something in there, timing on Berlin. So, that's what we're going with. Bought some pretty expensive units, because. Again, I'm feeling pretty good here. I'm, I'm comfortable with it. We do still have one transport left here. Correct. That did not move because I want to non-combat him. Good. And we're going to have the bomber. Unfortunately, this uh, attack is dependent on the AA and the battleship and how they go. After that, it's uh, see what they do, see what the dice do. I think that's actually my only actual attack this time. I think we're going to be shuttling a lot of infantry around, moving units, prepping for the crushing of Berlin. Yes. Yay. 
Yay! Good start. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. And he's taking his infantry before the AA again, so... And it doesn't matter. We just wiped him. Oh, he's going to hate to see him that. Now, that, that is some extraordinary dice again. I, I cannot say I have not gotten good dice. I mean, I don't think uh, my opponents played the greatest game, made some mistakes, but I definitely have had some good dice. I'd rather save those dice for another game is kind of what I'm going at. Just so he doesn't try anything silly there. Alright, we're gonna bring one on down this way. Oops. No, no, no. You need your infantry in there. There we go. We'll bring this guy on down here. This guy for this turn, I'm going to bring him down here just because they can match up in Egypt. And maybe I want to chase down the Germans with these guys. Not really sure. He's not going to be attacking Birdland anytime soon, so he can always come back if I need him to. So one thing I will say when you're stack, when you're going for that stack, that second round is always a um, second round of stacking is always big. A lot of times when they have German or over here tanks and infantry coming back, so you need a big second stack. If you got a Norway um, stack going here, then it's good to bring any or Finland stack, any Finland guys back to Norway, where transports that you use to unload here can go one grab, come back, and immediately put down into France. Whereas to go back to the U.S., they can't. So that's just one trick if you're trying to hold a France stack, uh, get any units in the scandinavia here back into finland if you think you're going to need them and that you know that's just a simple calculator you can calc that all out ahead of time if you needed them not counting the units oh here we go need to move those guys there we go So we're not going to rebuild Russia. We're not worried about that. Oh, I just got 11 spots. Perfect for 11 infantry. All right. So what do we want to do here? I want to... Take him. I mean, there's no real value in attacking these four guys because it doesn't give me any IPC, and then he's going to have, you know, these, uh, what is this, six, nine, and all the air that can come and hit there. So there's no value in me attacking them. There might be some value in me attacking them um, with my fighter on board. Um, Hmm, you know, <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Five. You know what? Let's just give him a headache, because I want to. Ooh, you know what we could do? No, nah, we don't need to. I was going to say, you now this seven stack, we could hit strafe, you know, 
nine infantry hit here and retreat them all back to Kaza. That would create, you know, because he's got what, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, seventeen, eighteen. Ooh, he's got quite a few coming in here. So, so yeah, I mean, we'd hit a few of them, certainly. But yeah, so seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, thirteen ground plus five air. We brought that, that would cut them down to like maybe say 11, 12 ground in five air. And hopefully get us, you know, of these nine units that would survive, say six of them survive. Say he gets three hits, six. I could bring 10, 11, 12, 16, 17, 18, and my airplane. And I got this infantry up here that could walk into there. I'm kind of leaning towards that, actually. Let's do something like this instead. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. That's eight. Chances of getting... It's tempting to throw another shot in there to retreat. We're going to move that infantry. We'll have 2v2. Do we want to throw something in there? Like doing something like that. I mean, that gives me an 11. So normal would be two hits. My dice have been good. <laughs> that could be a bad thing. Let's see. So he would have five, six, nine, and five. I'd still have the capability of bringing in six, ten, twelve. Wait, uh, five, seven, thirteen, fourteen. Land my plane, fifteen. And then we also got our UK that we could bring into there. So. Yeah, I say let's give it a crack. I guess I could have brought my plane back and intact over this that plane back here and use the other plane to strafe with. Oh well. Take that. Three hits. Three hits. Two hits. <laughs> Two to three hits. No. No. What am I doing? I don't need to do that. I mean, I, I, I still, you know, I got one. Ah, uh, no, I don't need to do that. Don't be stupid. Just retreat them. No, we got to get four infantry to jump down there. I don't know if it was worth it or not. Probably not. Give him the AA to give him a headache with three there. Uh, 
Let's see. All right. So I'll make sure I'm not doing something stupid here real quick. So we're just going to real fast plug this in. So we got the uh, 16, 2, 1. Yeah, we should be fine. Come on. He's got, what, 7 infantry, 2 artillery, 4 tanks, 4 fighters, and a bomber. Ah, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. <clears throat> I just needed to, I don't even need to put that in the calculator. I need to kind of count that out myself. We're good. Even without UK, so we're good. All right. Actually, you know what? Just to give him something to make a mistake on, because we are so good. Let's move one into here, too. Make him trade it. Since he's only got infantry there, make him work for it a little bit. There we go. 